So hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today we'll be discussing about like uh, how to uh, set up a conda environment within your local system because that is very important because uh, to do any uh, machine learning project we need uh, to have an environment setup so either you do a conda environment setup or you do normal python environment setup so both are uh, fine there is a slight difference i will talk in next videos so but today we'll be mostly talking about how to set up a conda environment okay so for that you need to have an anaconda installed within your local system so if you go to this website and from here you can download uh, conda basically okay anaconda so based on what operating system you are using based on that you can select one and you can download okay so i'm using a windows so i'll download this okay so i have already downloaded this guys so uh, let me show you so inside that I have a conda setup folder and inside that I have downloaded. So once your download finished, what you can do, you just double click on this one and then it will start uh, installing. So it will ask certain things you need to just uh, hit OK. So I will just explain which are important basically, which might create problem. Okay. So for that, uh, you just uh, do agree and fine. So you just install for this current user. So next. And here, guys, important thing is like, uh, um, see, I faced this problem. Uh, so that's where I'm sharing this experience. So if your username has some spaces in between, then what happens? Uh, it will is install properly. It will not create any problem. But while using, it might say, OK, fail to create process, fail to create uh, environment. So this kind of error it will give and you will not be able to use uh, an open door or you will not be able to set up a conda environment okay so for that uh, what i would suggest instead of uh, using the default location which has spaces in your folder directory structure okay it could be your username or any other uh, folder name which has spaces so don't use that one so for that what you can do you can uh, create a separate folder okay so what i have done i have created a separate folder in my c directory so anaconda 3 underscore one so in my system anaconda 3 is already installed so i have installed here so i will not choose that one but uh, you just create a separate folder with anaconda 3 and select that one okay so for your explanation purpose i have created this empty folder here and just selecting that one okay i have selected anaconda 3 underscore one but make sure don't have spaces within your folder structure okay so now i will do next so now here it will ask two options so first uh, don't select the first option because otherwise it will uh, uh, register this anaconda 3 within your path environment variable which i don't want basically because sometime if you already have certain python already installed okay and or if you have some other python environment so some sometime it start conflicting okay I have faced this so that's where the best practices is like don't add this by default so just unselect this okay don't do this this is not required at all okay I will show you without that also you can do and that is seamless okay without any uh, problem it will run okay so now uh, but make sure you just do these things okay you select this box so by selecting this box what will happen it will uh, allow other programs such as python tools for visual visual studio for example if you are using vs code pycharm or any other ide so inside that this conda environment will be found automatically okay so for that without any worry you simply do okay and you select this and install okay now if i hit uh, install it will uh, start installing okay so i am not installing again because unnecessary it will download uh, uh, multiple files and uh, uh, it will just uh, occupy system space okay so i am not installing but these are the important thing you need to take care which i have already uh, told you you hit install and it will simply install okay I am hitting cancelling button and it will install in your system. Okay. So now once it is installed, so what you can do, you can go to your search icon and here you can find Anaconda prompt. Okay. You can select this one. And once you select this one, so it will show you by default base. So base is nothing but the by default uh, environment present inside the Conda. Okay. If you do Conda, so first of all, uh, you want to check like whether Conda is installed or not. You just type Conda and hit enter it will show you these kind of options it means it is installed if it is not installed then it will say okay conda is not recognized as an internal or external commands okay so now you, uh, you are okay conda is installed so how to create conda environment for that what you need to do conda okay but first let me see what are already available environment so for that what you can do conda env list okay you can do this command execute this command and it will list all the available environment okay so for me uh, base in your system you are doing the first time you will see only base i have also installed mlops demo okay you see i have created inside this i have installed conda inside this and whatever directory you are installing you will see that directory inside environments and then you will see your uh, uh, environment basically environment name okay so let's create uh, the first conda environment so let's do conda 
uh, create hyphen n okay means uh, give the environment name and then uh, gives any names like for example uh, uh, like uh, conda env okay i am giving conda env this name okay and then space if, because for this we also need to have python installed so what version of python for example i am using python 3 i want to use python 3.9 for this version okay if you want to use a specific version for example python 3.10 or python 3.7 for your specific project so for that just create a new environment like this okay and just define the Py, uh, python version and then for that uh, what extra i want i want i, I, I python kernel to be installed so that uh, when I am opening the notebook, so there inside kernel section, we can see this environment registered, visible there. So that within notebook, we can use this environment. Okay. So I am just uh, creating a conda environment named environment variable and it is installing all those things. Simply do yes, it will install all those dependencies and everything. Okay. It will take around 30 seconds. So let's wait for that. Okay. So now you see like conda has been uh, like uh, conda environment has been created. So now if you run conda in the list, then it will show you that newly created environment. Okay. Here you see. So this conda environment, this we have created newly just now. Okay. And now once this environment is set up, so how you activate this environment? Okay. So the very first thing what you need to do conda activate and conda env. Okay. Now I hit enter. So now you see here before it was base and now it is here conda env. So new environment is set up. Now whatever libraries you will install, okay, you will install that will be installed within this specific environment. It will not hamper or it will not conflict with any other environment libraries or system libraries. Okay. So now I want to install, for example, notebook because I want to use Jupyter notebook. Okay. So notebook we can install within this environment. So pip install. So guys, so these are the basic steps you uh, memorize, you just note down and keep it handy before starting any machine learning project, you need to follow these things, okay? So I'm installing pip install notebook, okay? So now uh, it will install notebook within this conda environment, okay? So for me it is, uh, I have already installed, so it will pick from cache and uh, it will quickly install or it will say the requirement already satisfied because it is already installed, okay? So that's fine, but for you it will install. So now notebook is installed. Okay. One more important thing guys, if you want to see the what version it has installed, so what you can do, you can do pip so notebook, it will show every other information of that notebook installed, right? What is the version 6.5.2 summary, all those things. Okay. And which location is installed. So you can just double verify which location, is, whether it is installing within your environment or it is not installing within your environment. Okay. So sometime uh, it uh, might create a problem. Okay. So you can do that thing and if it is already installed so sometime because i have faced this so i'm telling you the, by this experience sometime what happens suppose uh, you are installing a particular library for example scikit-learn or mlflow and it is already installed within your system label okay and now you are installing within a conda environment so sometime it will not install within conda environment it will say it is already installed and then if you do pipso scikit-learn or pipso mlflow okay then it will show that path so now if you want to install within this environment, just first do pip uninstall that library and again install. So that's how you can resolve your problem. Okay. I have faced these challenges. So I'm just sharing. Okay. So, uh, but you don't need to worry. Just follow these steps. So now uh, notebook is installed. So what next you need to do basically. So here, uh, if you go here, so I have already written the steps. Okay. We have created an environment. We have uh, activated the environment. We installed notebook. And now you need to register IPY kernel, IPython kernel. We have already installed. But you need to attach this kernel to the notebook. Okay. So for that, you can run this command. So let me copy this. So that quickly we can run. And you can go to the anaconda prompt and here what you can do uh, which environment i want to attach conda environment okay and uh, yeah that's it so let me enter it so now this uh, ipython see installed kernel spec conda environment within conda environment okay it has installed so now we can open the notebook so how to open the notebook you can do jupyter notebook Okay, you simply type Jupyter notebook. So that's it. You remember while installing, I told don't select add to path variable. If you do add to path variable, then from 
Windows folder here. If you type Jupyter Notebook, it will open. But that I don't want basically. Okay, that's not a like good practice. It might create some problem. Okay, so that's a simply open Jupyter Notebook from the Anaconda prompt. Best way. Okay, and if you do hit enter, it will open. So now see uh, one more thing. It will open from the like uh, uh, user Ashutosh directory. So you see here. So it is opening from this directory. Okay, but if you want to open from a particular directory so that uh, if you are working for a particular project what you can do let me just uh, control C it will just uh, close it okay I just uh, closed it so let me uh, close this as well okay I am going to that particular folder where uh, I want to uh, start working right so send the conda setup okay I am inside this directory and here I want to create a new project so now I can do Jupyter Notebook and hit enter now it will uh, start from this folder so now you see it has started this folder right and here if you see inside new you have conda environment right remember before i had uh, this mlops mlops demo all those things but now you see conda environment also there so now if you want to create a new notebook you just simply select this conda environment okay and from here you can select and you can type anything okay so for example you want to import pandas import pandas svd if panda is installed then it will work if it is not installed it will not work let's see okay so now it is trying to import pandas and it is installed basically okay and here inside kernel also if you want to change the kernel then you can switch the uh, environment, environment basically from here so basically that's all how to create the conda environment okay so the scope of this video is only up to this okay so but uh, one more thing important thing as i will tell you like there are certain ways to install a library within the environment so for example sometime you install using conda install okay uh, scikit learn and sometime you do uh, pip install scikit learn okay so what is the difference between conda and pip install okay so that's what i am going to tell in the next video okay so that is very very important to understand okay so that's it uh, for today's guys hope you enjoyed uh, this session and if you are liking then uh, please subscribe to my uh, channel and share within ml community okay so that's how you can support me so thank you very much